This video is primarily directed to Christians, people who have put their faith, belief, trust in Jesus and Him alone, and nothing else for their eternal life. Every Christian has a unique witnessing tool available to them at all times, and that is your personal story on how you got saved. Sometimes people are just not receptive to looking at Bible verses and getting in a formal dialogue about how to get to heaven. This occurred to me recently at the mall about two weeks ago. I sat down next to a man. I got a friendly conversation going. I started to transition the conversation to the afterlife. And he immediately said, are you a Christian? And I said, yes. And he says, well, I don't believe in all that Christianity stuff and the Bible. And I, I really don't want to talk about it. So I got the message. And this is what I did. I said, well, that's fine. I understand that. Could I tell you a personal story on how I became a Christian? And he said, okay. So I told him my testimony. Here is my testimony. When I was 20 years old, a man named Dave asked me this question. If you die tonight, why would God let you into heaven? Well, I told Dave that I'd been living a good life. Not perfect, but I think God would have recognized that it was a good life and let me into heaven if I died. He said, I'm sorry, but God doesn't let people into heaven based on your answer. And he asked me if he could show me several verses in the Bible, and I agreed. The first verses he showed me was Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, which says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. When I saw the words, not of works, I knew that my good life would not get me into heaven. Then Dave showed me John 3, 16, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Dave then said this. He said, If you'll just quit trusting in your good life to get to heaven and trust in Jesus and him alone, God will let you into heaven. He said, Do you believe that? I said, Yes. And I trusted in Jesus that very day. In May 1972, when I was 20 years old. So I told the man that story. And I think he appreciated that story. And at the end, I gave him a track. So basically, by telling him my testimony, I witnessed to him. And it wasn't formal. It was just a story. But that was a situation where I needed and used my testimony. So this is what I'd recommend. I'd recommend that you develop your testimony. Practice it. I would get it under two minutes and have at least one Bible verse included, because we know that the Word of God gets to the heart. Uh, I would uh, not just tell them my story, it could all be true, but include Bible verses. And at the end, I would give them a tract, a salvation tract. Now, I did do a video number 53, which tells you how to get free salvation tracts. So bottom line, develop your testimony, refine it, have it ready to go, and use it for that particular situation that you think it's needed.